Welcome to devlog number seven. So today's devlog will actually be a bit shorter because we're gonna start pushing out content more regularly, which makes a bit more sense to focus on just a few things in a quick video, some quick bites for you to eat, and then we'll continue to update you regularly on stuff that we're adding in the mirror. And of course, keep in mind that everything we're adding is coming from your feedback. We have a great team. We work very hard at what we do, but ultimately we are wanting to create a fantastic game development platform. And so one of the big issues that we've been tackling and focusing on lately, and this is part of the beauty of working with Godot too, it's because it's a fantastic engine, is as you probably know, if you're into game dev, whenever you actually build your game, that can take a good bit of compile time. And that really is not fun. It's just kind of dead weight of time. And even though things like Unreal can look absolutely fantastic, you might notice that, well, if you try to do a lot of baking lighting, for example, that can sometimes take uh, 24 hours to do a full compile. And so we said, hey, let's make this much more intuitive, much more quick, so you can actually create a, a fantastic game quite quickly. And so right now I'm in build mode in the space I've been working on. And again, keep in mind that we are a real-time game development platform. So everything that you do can be done in real time with your friends, with your colleagues, very similar to how like when you play Minecraft, you're both creating a world, but then playing at the same time too. We aim to capture that same magic. So for example, say I'm over here working on this side of this space game that we've been working with for a little bit for some of these devlogs, but the actual start of the game is on a different part of the map over here. And so of course, whenever you do game development from scratch, you can start your game, but then it's truly going to start right at the beginning. And that's going to, can be kind of hard, a little friction to get back to what you're actually working on. So we said, Hey, well, let's just make that much smoother and remove that friction. So if I'm over here working on this part of the map and I hit build and for B for build, and then head over to preview, this is going to actually teleport you right to where the game starts. And so that's where I set the spawn point. As you can see, now we have our chart animation playing there. And so we can play, 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 test this out right here, have a good time. And then I'm going to hit escape, hit end preview. And now I am back right where I started. And so this makes game development much, much easier, a lot less friction, far smoother, so that you and your buddy can be building a game together and experience that in real time and make some tweaks, do some stuff over here, maybe modify some game logic and then say, okay, hey, let's try that again. Hit preview, bam, you're instantly playing the game right now. Test that out again and say, okay, great. Let's head back and keep on building. Then now we're out of preview. We're back into build mode and we are creating a way. So we're very excited to be shipping this feature. If you're in our closed alpha, you'll definitely know about this as well. And one last thing you might've noticed is that we are continually adding a lot more assets to the mirror. And so last week we gave a shout out to Quaternius. We wanna make sure that we give credit where credit is due. We have his link in the description. So be sure to go check him out on Patreon and even sponsor him if you like his work. And this week we got some assets from Christian Rudorf on Sketchfab. Be sure to check out his work as well. Thank you for these awesome turrets that we're using. And of course, some of these come animated as well. So be sure to enjoy that. Also go check him out on ArtStation. And so with that, we can only do this due to many creators making their work available for free via the Creative Commons license. And of course, we want to make sure that we could give credit where credit is due. If you're ever interested in working with us via your assets being showcased on one of our devlogs, or if you'd like to make your assets available via our Mirror Public Library that we're putting together, if you're already making those available via Creative Commons and would like those imported into the Mirror, as assets for other people to be able to use very quickly for their games as well. We'd absolutely love to chat with you. Definitely tweet at us, send us a direct message on Twitter, join our Discord, talk to us there, post on Reddit. We'd love to chat. With that, thank you so much for your time and we hope to see you in the mirror.